Welcome to the Mendenhall Glacier in Juneau, Alaska. I'm Gretchen Sparling with Eagle's Call Magazine. I'm here to meet with Eagle Scout Matt Failer, a professional dog sled musher who's completed three grueling Iditarod races. In the 2014 race, he finished 15th, bagging a $20,000 prize. Let's head up to Matt's training camp to see how he's preparing his team for the next Iditarod. Matt, thanks so much for having us. How are you doing today? I'm good. Great. How are you? Great. Well, tell us where we're at. Well, this is the beautiful um, Sheep Creek Valley just outside of Juneau, Alaska. Uh -huh. And this is my summer home from May until September where my dogs and I live. And what do you guys do all summer? We um, provide rides for tourists uh -huh. and demonstrate the sport of dog mushing. And, Try to make a little money for the winter time. Gotcha. So what did you say? This is the weightlifting in the summer? The dogs start getting putting on some muscles before you start cardio training? Correct. Yeah. Okay. The, you know, since the dogs are long distance athletes, uh -huh. we don't have the capability of going real far in the summertime. So uh -huh. they're just kind of pulling a heavy load uh -huh. for a short distance. So it's like the off season. <laughs> As soon as the snow starts falling, Matt's focus changes from tourism to training. He and his team spend the fall and winter months preparing for the Iditarod. The dogs train 60 to 70 miles a day just to get in shape for the 1,000 mile journey. It's during this time, Matt will determine which 16 of his 28 dogs will make the final team for the 2015 Iditarod. This year we'll have a little bit older of a team. We do have a couple young dogs in the program. We're gonna try and just go a little bit harder. Matt has completed three consecutive Iditarod races. I asked Matt how he thinks his scouting experience will give him an edge in the Iditarod. The fact that 12 times out of the year, our troop, we would go out and do something. You know, we had cooking competition, wilderness survival, building shelters out of sticks or snowbanks. All these things that we did in scouting is apparent and it's, and it's right in the front of my mind. Um, and I would just tell my competitors that uh, I've seen this in different form years ago and it's finally you know, coming out while racing. Scouting has shaped me in many different ways. Um, a lot of good morals, a lot of good life lessons. Um, working within a group of people, I'm taking those and now I'm working within a group of dogs. Um, doing it the right way, you know, doing right by your dogs. Follow Matt at iditarod.com or go to his website at 17th-dog.com.